this model, which is different regions of the digestive system. We'll start up here with the esophagus, and then the stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. So some consistent features throughout is that there's going to be a mucosal layer, which are these first three features that we see on each piece. So the mucosal layer consists of an epithelium. So in the esophagus, we have stratified squamous epithelium. And then starting in the stomach and working all the way down until we get to the anus, we're going to have simple columnar epithelium. So that's first layer closest to the lumen. Next is a lamina propria, which is this thin white section. Lamina propria. And then the outer layer of the mucosal layer is the muscularis mucosae, which is this and all of these. After the mucosal layer is a submucosal layer, so the thick connective tissue layer here, 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 and there, all submucosa. And then the following is the muscularis externa. So the inner layer is the circular layer. So if we look at the top down view, you can see this, the smooth muscle cells here. And then looking at that same layer, you see that they're cut at a cross section here. The external layer is the longitudinal layer, and so we can see cells running the length of the tube, and from the top view they're cut at a cross section there. So each of these organs has at least two layers, circular layer and longitudinal layer. When we get to the stomach, there'll be a third layer. The innermost layer in the stomach is the oblique layer, so a third layer of smooth muscle in muscularis externa. And then the outermost layer is either going to be adventitia or serosa. So adventitia is just really connective tissue. There's not an epithelium associated with it. Whereas serosa has some connective tissue and an epithelium, which is the serous membrane, which is making serous fluid. So if you look at the detail here, there's a little bit of texture on the stomach, small intestine, and large intestine, which is suggesting that whichever region of these organs we're looking at is wrapped in serosa, which means it's intraperitoneal. Some other quick features to see here. We can see the villi. So this is one villus of the small intestine. Lots of villi crowded in there. We also see gastric pits between the folds of um, the stomach. And then we see intestinal crypts here where the, the two layers of columnar epithelium have kind of been pushed up against each other. We can also see some mucus secreting glands here in the esophagus. And then when we get down to the longitudinal layer of smooth muscle in the colon, it's reduced down to a couple ribbons, which are called the tania coli. So here is a piece of tania coli, but notice how it ends and there's no longitudinal layer here, and there's also no longitudinal layer out here. So just two to three ribbons of longitudinal around the entire model would be the tania coli of the large intestine.